right guys, so today I'm actually going to show you what I think is a very important but kind of left behind lesson in this world of nails and that is how to remove these charms from off of your gel nails. <music> Hey there, I am Paola of paolaponsanails.com and I help current and aspiring nail techs become thriving entrepreneurs by mastering all of their gel nail services using premium soft gel only. If this sounds like a niche you like to consider exploring, then at the end of this video, do consider subscribing. Perhaps you are going to start on a new set, whether it be your own or your clients, and you're wondering, okay, well, I had success with these things now for three to four weeks or beyond, but how do they come off? What do I do? And the way I'm gonna teach you this is by showing you a couple mistakes, two big mistakes, I think, that nail techs make when removing charms off of the nails. First mistake is to grab your pair of nippers, the one that you actually use for your client's dry skin, right? And then try to kind of go in there and loosen up the charm or break the bond, break the gel. And this is a big mistake because these nippers here are actually quite delicate. And if you have a pair of nippers that you use consistently on your clients or a few of those, then you wanna make sure that these are high quality, that they are nicely sharpened, and that they stay that way because otherwise you are going to have to send these out and get them sharpened professionally so that they continue to be this great tool to remove dead skin or maybe cuticle. So that's the mistake number one, using your designated cuticle nippers to remove or loosen up the gel of that charm. What you do want to do instead is grab a set of either tool nippers or nail nippers, okay? And the reason why I say nail nippers is because if you are familiar with OPI's manicure utensils package, it comes in like this oil slick kind of pattern or tone to them. And I really, really like those. I used them for years and I eventually I just kind of like, I mean years, I kind of doled them out there. I then switched over to something like this. So I'm just trying to give you some options, okay? If in case you're gonna be like, okay, so where do I get this from? So nail nippers are nippers that are actually still sharpened, but they're much, much stronger here at the jaw area, what we call the jaw area, if you can tell, big, big difference. I mean, look at that. So this is what you wanna use for cutting anything else other than skin or cuticle off of the nails. Now, this is still valuable here. This tool is still valuable. I am not saying, you know, just go ahead and beat it up and then you just need something else soon. But what I am saying is that you need to designate something, some tool to the removal of charms or to cut nail. Again, I'm using these nail nippers. I know OPI has something like a tool nipper, which means that you can cut anything like tips and nails and, you know, gel with those tool nippers, okay? They're very sturdy. They'll last you a very long time. But again, you just need to designate something. So if that means that you're gonna use this for nails and you're like, Paula, but I still would like to keep the sharpness and the integrity of this jaw, then my friend, you're gonna have to to buy two of these, okay? Because I think that these are super necessary in your business, okay? So with that being said, that is mistake number one, using the incorrect nippers to cut away at gel material. Mistake number two is to grab any one of your bits and roll them over, right? At full speed onto that charm because what you're actually doing is actually wearing down the sharpness of these blades. Believe it or not, these blades here have some sharpness to it. They also have some height to it. So if you're passing this over your charm, you're filing down your charm, A, so it is getting thinner, but at what cost? The cost is the cost of a bit. So you don't wanna just roll your any of your bits on here. Big rookie mistake there. I know because I used to do it. So what I used to do was even worse, okay? So don't feel bad if you've done this before. Just know that I've done it worse. So instead of even grabbing like a metal bit, what I used to do was grab a ceramic bit and I'm so ashamed to admit it because ceramic is so much more gentle and actually easier to damage than obviously this metal here and what end up happening whether you use ceramic or you use the carbide you're not only going to wear down 
the teeth, the flutes of your piece here. But then you're gonna create some dents because this is not like a completely flat nail charm. So one part is removing smooth, the other part is removing something with a little edge. So you're actually gonna dig into your piece here, your ceramic bit, any bit, and then you're gonna say, well, I'm just gonna continue to use this bit for removal. So then I'm just gonna go over here and now remove the gel from off of the client or myself and not realizing that you're actually not gonna be removing that smooth anymore because now you have an area that still has some amount of material and the other one has less material. So it's kind of like groovy. And so you're not filing smooth. I know you're probably like, wow, Paula, you used to do that mistake. Yep. If you know me, you know I like to go first before you. And I also like to tell you about my mistakes so that you can learn from them. So those are the two big mistakes that we make when removing charms. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you now how you can remove charms. And there are times where you can remove them with acetone so that you can preserve the charm, but it just depends on what you have. Like this here is some sort of resin material, the little turquoise. So I highly doubt that I'll be able to salvage this charm. Let alone, I kind of put these on a whim because I was kind of done with my nails. And um, yeah, by the way, these are extensions, if you can believe it. Super, super excited about this new product. I'll tell you all about it later. <laughs> But uh, yes, uh, I kind of just threw these charms on. I did very good at encapsulating these here, but as you can tell, there's a little bit of tarnish there on the corner because if you put just like a thin gel over it, it will wear out. But either way, that still will not uh, impede from me showing you how to remove this charm. So let's get to the how to remove nail charms from off of nails, off of these fake nails, right? Gel nails, acrylics, all of that. So grab your tool nipper. And then what I want you to do is to start digging at an edge, especially if perhaps that edge has already lifted, I want you to start there, okay? So we're gonna go in here, in here, and then you're just clamping down there and, and see, don't do that, don't do that with your nail, but you wanna see if you can feel as you're doing this, that the charm is actually kind of lifting a little bit. So you're just coming from underneath it, like so, and then just breaking the gel. Don't force it, okay? Don't force it, do little by little. And then see, I'm digging into it with this point. And this point is beneficial to me. I'm willing to spend an extra $10 on a pair that I might just kind of ruin the tip. And then if I still like these four nails, like if you're cutting the side of the nails or something like this, it's super straight, do you see that? I mean, they're designed that to help you keep that super straight. Just the angle of this, there's hardly any. So I'm willing to spend money on two sets of these. Again, one that's just for like, you know, t uh, gems and things and whatever. I'm not gonna be super sad if I mess up the point. And I'm also willing to buy one that is just for nails. Or it just depends, try it. And if you, if like I've used this a couple times already to do this technique of removing the uh, charms from off of fake nails, but I haven't really damaged the point. So, I mean, just try one and then go from there. But see, already the gel is kind of coming up, okay? Now I have seen people just wrap it in acetone. The thing about just wrapping a nail with a charm on in an acetone soaked cotton ball is that you first have to kind of break the seal. Most top coats kind of have a hard gel consistency to them, a hard gel chemistry to them, which means that it's not going to be porous. So acetone is not just going to penetrate, it's not just gonna seep in and start melting all of the gel off of that charm and remove it, okay? So that's super important. This is why you kind of at least have to break it in like this because now you are creating a porous scenario. You are causing some lifting underneath here that will help that acetone seep through and remove the charm, okay? So just keep that in mind, please. All right, so I'm just kind of loosening up. Be really careful because there is a point to these, so you don't want to glide off and accidentally stab yourself. So my elbows are on the table, so that's providing some support. Now, sometimes you may feel like it is coming up and whatnot. Sometimes you may not feel that, okay? Now, if you find that like, okay, I'm not having success breaking into this charm, like I really did a good deal by like making it <laughs> adhere to this nail for like almost a lifetime, then what I want you to do next is consider what tools you have in your little toolbox here that you can actually start using to kind of break in through here. I'll tell you right now, I really don't have a super pointy one other than my diamond bit, which I don't wanna use this diamond bit, even though I don't really use this myself for cuticles or eponychium area. 
I don't want to use this. Um, I just don't. I mean, you don't never know why. Or, or if I switch my mind about wanting to use it for cuticle, I don't want to have it ruined. So I do. This is like the most narrow one that I have. This one is distributed by Naturally Nails. Again, all my products are linked in the description box, typically for every video. So if I mention something here, it's something that I know, like, and trust. And so it most likely will be in the description box. Okay. So let's see. So now what you want to do, once you've already broken into the seal, can you just put acetone on this thing? Yes, I guess you can. But for me, you're kind of going to slow yourself down. So what I would do, if you are familiar with power tools, right, your electric file, then go ahead and pop that in there and then just kind of start working around this charm to remove the, any, any barrier. Because frankly, this, once you get in there, it's going to pop off. Okay. Like you don't even have to sit and wait for the acetone unless it's a charm that you want to save. And that's usually the case when you're using like Swarovski crystals. Um, those are acetone resistant, believe it or not. And I mean, I don't know if there is any just like tiny small damage at the end of it all so here we are and just be really gentle but you do want to operate at a high speed this is the strong 120 also distributed by nashley nails and it's a uh, session the south korean brand i've mentioned to you before so again i don't want to wear down my bit what i want to do is come around that charm and kind of start digging underneath. I could dig into the gel. That's totally okay. Do not go like nearly at a 90 degree angle. You do want like some 30 to 45 degrees there. Maybe here you're flat, right? And then just be really careful when you're going around your cuticle area. Your goal is to get on the gel, not the charm, because the charm will mess up your bit, okay? It's going to shave it down, as it's also shaving down the charm. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my e-file for a moment, and I'm just gonna come back here and check on this. So I'm gonna grab my tool nipper again, I'm going to dust this off, and then see where we're at, because again, this actually pops off really quick once you're able to like get underneath there. The trick is to get underneath there. There we go, do you see how easy that was? Boom, you see? You can get a little forceful if you want to, but I don't think you have to. And if you would, then it will lift the gel from off of the nail. And if you're just going to rebalance this now, then you don't want to set yourself behind by causing lifting or damage to the natural nail. So that's it. Now, this is totally fair game for you to get on with an e-file bit, okay? Or an e-bit as I like to call them. So I'm going to just go ahead and grab something a little robust because this still is going to be uh, rough, but not so rough where it will dull my carbide bit. So I'm going to use this guy here. I'm going to switch this out. You can use any carbide bit. Believe it or not, I don't necessarily have a preference for a carbide bit. I like one that's usually cone shaped. Um, some, you know, flutes, a uh, high eight, so maybe like a medium. Not, I really don't use a coarse or extra coarse, but I guess medium is the one where I always say. Okay, lock that in. Turn up my e-file. I still want to be a little bit high because there is some texture to get through. Firm pressure, even. Oh my gosh, super, super smooth. You would have never guessed that there was an actual charm on there. We did such a great job, guys. So all you would do here is continue the manicure however you want it to. Um, this is not lifting. This is like a little bit of gel on here. So you can actually just continue whatever you're gonna do, whether you're gonna remove 90% of the nail or soak it off, um, whatever you're gonna do, it's time to do that. And that is it. That is how you remove a charm from off of a fake nail, whether that be gel or acrylic. Hope this video helped you very much. Remember products that I know, like, and trust. Those links are down in the description box below. Also, please check out any of the free resources that I offer, whether it be a guide or a free masterclass. Those are also down in the description box below. Do subscribe. I'm here weekly. I'm going nowhere. So if you like more of this content, then hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell notification to get more content like this delivered to you every week. And if you like this video, you'll probably like what's up next. So make sure to stay and watch. Have a merry start to your week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.